Before we get started, thanks to Sunday for sponsoring today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, update number two from the fiberglass shop. We're starting on the bulkheads. Might be reinforcing some stringers. We don't know, they look pretty decent. But by the end of today's video, we will have the first section of floor put into the itty bitty. It's been almost half a year since I've been able to walk like a normal human in there. So used to high step and it affects my daily, daily life. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a step closer to stability, normal boat life in the itty bitty today. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the finished transom. She looks good. Since we have been here last, Tim has come in and put a layer over the transom. It's a little bit thicker fiberglass. Put a black coating over it and it is sealed. It is sturdy. Ah! I call that pretty sturdy, wouldn't you, Tommy? Yeah. I wanted to let you guys know this right now. Unfortunately, we're not gonna go the outboard route right now. And if we're not going it right now, we're probably never gonna go that route on this boat. I'm really sketched out about the weight distribution and trying to put this boat back together as close as it was when it was originally made. It's so top heavy. Gotta do a lot more research on the motor. That's another day. So the stringers running vertically down the boat are in pretty decent condition, but the bulkheads completely toast. We're gonna try to replace every single one exactly how it was, put a floor on it. We're gonna get suited up, get old Tim in here and get to work. That feels so much better. I'll cut this out of the fiberglass first. Okay. Be careful not to saw through the hole, through the bottom of the boat, so. Sweet. Try to keep the blade from going any deeper than we have to. We're to the hole right here, and I'll probably come back and take a grinder, grind this down smooth. One thing that me and Tim talked about the stringers in the base are a lot more solid than we thought. There's one in the back that we might do a little pour in some type of phone, maybe pour in ceramic, but a majority of these stringers are in pretty decent condition. See, these are the bulkheads, they run the opposite way of the stringers. Side of the shell is fiberglass, and it's attached to the hole, so it's good and solid at the, at the bottom, at the base. I'm gonna cut out one side where we can dig out all the rotten wood. And what we'll do on the pattern is we'll we'll make a height from the bottom edge of where the floor will sit. We'll make a pattern out of cardboard that'll come from here all the way across. just left the boat. He's like, this dude doesn't even need me. I miss you, Tim. Um, nothing real scientific here. I'm just getting some links. 55. I'm gonna go cut some boards real quick. Tim try to steal you from me yet? I hear him sweet talking you in here. That dirty dog. He's got us fool. Runs a good business. Yeah. Good to his employees. Very good. Honorable man. He's inviting me on a bike ride. That dirty dog. Some areas are real rotten, some are solid. So the fiberglass is still good. It's good and solid, it's attached to the hole. Just trying to get out as much wood as we can. What we'll do is we'll sand the face of this so that we get a good bond. I'm just trying to get a measurement from here to the floor. Like 11 and a quarter. This will give us a good idea. Can you imagine how much fun that would be to have two 20 year old guys aiming in a working place? <laughs> and hopefully this will be close. <laughs> wow. 
once I see it once, I feel like I could. I saw the way you did that song, so I know. Okay. I know you're capable of doing it. So. Alright, good deal. You saw the way I did that song. Dude, Tim's a pretty cool guy, man. Let me tell you something. I'm 54, and some 20 year old jackwad comes around with a camera and says, Hey man, can I film you? I'll say no. Hit the road, dude. Me and Tommy are going to get perms because we made it. I don't know why Tim doesn't want to take me on a bike ride. All right, we are starting the fiberglass work. We have cut some patterns. We're sitting them in where the bulkheads used to be. This is gonna be the most timely part of this entire rebuild, but after we get through this, the light at the end of the tunnel is very close. <laughs> We call this a hair drill. It's gonna allow us to get down in these grooves and we can't get the grinder. <laughs> So if you missed the last video, we redid the transom and I really didn't do a lot of fiberglass work. Today's the first day in the entire restoration series, I'll actually be touching resin fiberglass, installing fresh new glass, which I don't know, it's like a ride of hat. I'm excited. I, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Really fast, before we move any further, need to let you know of my good friends over at Sunday. I don't know how many of you Live across the street from your father-in-law and would love to have a greener yard. Sunday is a subscription that combines data with cutting-edge science to help you grow a better, greener yard. Coming for you, Keith. They build it out of ingredients that you actually can say the name, like seaweed or molasses, iron. Most people can say the name. Getting set up is actually pretty easy. You go to Sunday's platform, type in your address, and begin filling out your lawn analysis. You'll then get your lawn care plan in a matter of seconds, customized specifically for your lawn, and they'll send everything you need straight to your doorstep. You can take the nutrients bag, shower your yard in nutrients that say to your father-in-law, I'm a man too. I know you're scared. I hope you didn't hear that. So head over to GetSunday.com slash AOFishing and use code AOFish20 to save 20% off. Now back to the video. <laughs> Gotta clamp them down like Draymond Green, as Davey Gravy would say. Wow, this feels a lot thicker than what we did the transom with, eh? Yeah. I figured after a week you'd be dying to get in here. <laughs> Yeah, I miss little lady bitty. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And preferably, you don't pour half of your gallon on the plywood, but we can clean that up. Yeah, we'll edit that out. Now that you be the goop stirrer, how about that? Oh, I'll stir that goop. Right. Scott, it really does look like peanut butter. It's crazy. Probably not quite as tasty though. <laughs> so what I've done, I put a piece of one ounce top strand mask both sides of the board. I'm set it in place. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tab some of these pieces of the heavy woven roving okay. down at the bottom. I'm gonna wet both sides. What that's going to do is going to tie in the bottom of the bulkhead. So the combination of that, the fiberglass and the top strand scoop, it's going to lock it in. And we'll fiberglass over the top of this, and that'll tie everything together. We'll put a pretty good bed of this down.
this actually conforms really good, this type of material, which is a good thing. Sometimes you get in complex curves and corners, it can be tough to get it to lay in there good. So. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> What's that, uh, Mike Rose, the uh, Dirty Jobs yep. show? He hasn't contacted me yet. Still Back waiting. Is. He's on the way. Back to the way. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Worked really hard. Them as a champ, man. Day three, we are putting the floor in. It's gonna be a fantastic feeling when there's something to walk on that's not like those ladder drills you do in middle school football. Floor's going in. Good, yep. Chopped up, ready to get the cut, baby. I'm just saying, Tim told me it was his anniversary yesterday and just kind of weird because that's seven days after meeting Tommy. All right, we got one down. kind of visually level the top of these bulkheads, okay. kind of make long straight runs, and then I'll sand and kind of clean up some of the fiberglass. I need it lay down as needed, do a little light from the beginning, and we'll vacuum it out, come back, fiberglass over the top, tie everything together. We'll be ready to start putting the floor in in the front part of the boat, so that'll be a huge step. While well, Tim's sanding, can I talk to you outside? Yeah. So what did you say you were doing yesterday? Two old cafe. With him? No one. By myself. Good semblance of a pattern for us. Also, just so you know, we're gonna have furniture on both sides okay. covering this lip, so if it's not perfect. The good thing about fiberglass, you can cover and make it stronger and thicker anywhere you need to, so right. you can build it up with fiberglass. Gotcha. Take care of any boys that may be. We're gonna use three quarter plywood. We got the pattern down, getting close. The pattern's probably going to be slightly oversized, but typically what I do is come in about a quarter of an inch. That feels crazy. Holy smokes. Once we get it screwed to those bulkheads, right. it'll be rock solid. We'll put a brace under here everywhere we make a joint. All right. We'll screw a brace on the underside so that you know they'll lock together. Good. So right now I want to take these out and cut them, you know, adjust them, and then let's put some fiberglass on the on the remainder of the bulkhead. Feels good to walk on something solid. Yeah, it feels awesome. It'd be cool if I didn't make this for Europeans, you know? Yeah, it's uh, a little, little Not American made. 
by the time we're done with it, that he might not ever want to see it again. <laughs> yeah. So the crowd was smelling loud. <laughs> the bulkheads had been secured. We just put the final layer of fiberglass. We had the floor. Tim just cut it out perfect. We're gonna slide it in there, screw it in, and we should be pretty dang close. Just, Folks, we got a floor. It's not fiberglass in. We got it secured to the bulkheads right now. It's crazy to be in the boat in the itty bitty and not feel like I'm tripping or falling. I don't know why, but this feels bigger than the transom. It feels bigger than anything we've done so far. I could start to see the frame come together, the backbones of the boat. It feels so good. We got some pretty special things coming up with the interior. First part of the floor is in, big step. I'm happy. Thank you guys for supporting the Itty Bitty Series. I absolutely love you. We got some exciting news coming about some t-shirts. I don't know if you guys want a t-shirt with a boat on it, but we're going to try it see what happens. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.